Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the CTOadvisor.com and welcome to a CTO Dose talking about VMware. Yeah, we spent a lot of time last week at VMware at the campus talking to the network BU, talking to a couple of the cloud BUs. The videos are posted over on the CTOadose.com. Go ahead and take a look at those. However, the Expert Award came out today and it got me to thinking that there's a big part of IT enterprise technology that kind of laughs at the vExpert community. What is vExpert? vExpert is a award that John Troyer and Eric Nielsen created, oh man, I think 10, 11 years ago, to recognize community members that contributed to the community via blog posts, videos, presentations at VMware user groups, etc. VMware has since morphed, but I think there's a stigma around vExpert outside of the VMware community. So Greg Nierman, who was on the podcast a few weeks ago, called this community the Clouderati. People who are looking at VMware and VMware products and saying, you know what, if you're using that stuff, you are legacy IT, uh, you're going to be left in the in the back, and I and I. And I, I, I kind of scr struggle with that. Sure, cloud is sexy, cloud, cloud is cool, but technology is deployed to solve business challenges. And if technology doesn't solve business challenges, then it simply won't be adopted. People don't go to AWS because it's cool. They go to AWS because they AWS meets a business need. So VMware and experts in general have been kind of labeled the mainframe operators of this new millennium. And I think that's a little bit unfair to categorize it. And here's why. VMware, let's look at VMware specifically. VMware has one BU, their network BU, living off the, the growth of NSX, that is a 1.4 billion dollar run rate for just that single BU and it's growing the vSAN storage BU is growing and now they're starting to offer cloud services through some of the other BU's and you might laugh ha 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 VMware in the cloud you're talking about this VMware cloud on AWS VMware cloud on AWS is just one service they bought Velo Cloud. If you're not familiar with Velo Cloud, again, go over to the CTO Dose, watch the video with Pierre Monclos, the CTO of the Network Security BU. He's the former CTO of Plum Grid, which is a company that VMware purchased. And they before VMware bought them, they did they were doing some pretty cool stuff that uh, AWS and a bunch of the other hyperscalers are moving forward. But back to the network BU. NSX by itself is a juggernaut. Combine that with VeloCloud. From a technology perspective, VMware is positioned to solve a very difficult problem, which is hybrid cloud security uh, when you combine private cloud or what VMware calls the private cloud and the public cloud when you have public cloud objects like Lambda and PaaS systems and you have private cloud resources such as traditional Microsoft SQL Server databases and you need to control security between the two, look to solutions like VeloCloud and NSX to solve those types of solutions. VMware is very much in the fight, middle of the fight when it comes to what does the future of enterprise IT look like. So who are the foot soldiers in that fight? It's these guys, the V experts. The V experts are out there learning about NSX. They're, le they're going to learn about VeloCloud. They're going to learn about all the cool stuff Plum Grid was doing with IOVisor once the network BU brings that stuff to bear. They are going to learn uh, PKS. Jury's still out, but Kubernetes is going to be deployed on top of VMs on top of VMware vSphere. So, little rant, 
I am a I am a V expert. This is my sixth or seventh year. I'm not a, t a traditional V spear technologist anymore. The virtualized geek website has now been mothballed. Uh, the CTO advisor.com is finally getting more views than virtualizedgeek.com. I've moved forward, but V expert, I, I, ex I expect to follow VMware for some years to come, and I expect to learn technologies they deploy because, frankly, they still very much matter, and not that they still matter, they are moving the ball forward. I'd love to debate with this with you. Follow me on Twitter at CTO Advisor. Comment in the LinkedIn video below or catch this video if you haven't already on the new landing page for the CTO Dose videos. CTOdose.com. Talk to you next CTO Dose.